Okay. Okay. One second, guys. One second. Let me get this right. Hey, guys. <clears throat> Anyone want to bet that we're going to end up canceling this live stream too? Yeah. I've already had the trolls complain and argue in the comment section. Hey, Orthodox, how are you doing? Oh, yeah. So anyone who Bob sets you, it's going to fan him? Yeah. Anyone want to bet is going to be a pattern like the last two sessions that I'm going to end up just ending the stream because the regulars can't constrain themselves. They can't respect the rules. And anyone want to bet? that if I delete it, I'm just going to stop streaming for about two weeks and I'll just delete this. Now I'm in a hotel room, the connection is not the best. So the connection is not the best right now. So if the connection is bad, I'm gonna to have to use my hotspot. So we'll see. Anila, I don't know how you spelled your name there. All right, anyway. So now I'm hoping maybe, oh man, I need to charge the phone. Yeah, hold on, guys. I need to charge the phone. Oh, boy. All right. One second. Anyway, yeah, I think I forgot to bring the uh, phone charger. Now, I'm opening this up because I'm hoping there'll be anti-Trinitarians who can come on. And really have a discussion. Is it a slow mo man? Yeah. Let's see if we can have a discussion. They can refute the Trinity and defend their position. Right? So, but the thing is, I'm scared because the connection is not too good. So I'm hoping the connection will stay strong and I need to go to the car and get the phone charger. But the problem is, that means it's going to be just, uh, we're just going to see my hotel room. Okay, let me just put up the link. Let's begin. Okay, this is a chance for all serious anti-Trinitarians to come on and prove why the Bible teaches their doctrine of the Godhead and not the Trinity. So here it is. Let's put the link in. Do you think anyone will show up? Or we're just going to waste each other's time? Here he goes. Here's the link. StreamYard. I'm going to pin it. There it is. It's pinned. There you go. Come on up. Let's see. May the Lord Jesus Christ be glorified. Glory to the Father, Sister, and Mighty Name. May the Holy Spirit bless the internet connection and other visual qualities and anoint me, control my mouth from error and sin and stammering, and recall every jot till a poor scripture perfectly for the glory of the Father, Son, and Spirit. Glory to the Father, Son, and Spirit. So we'll see what happens, brethren. So I'm down to uh, one more shirt. I got three shirts. <laughs> I may have to run to the phone, and I may have to get my phone charger. All right, I don't know why this guy is texting me. So, guys, let's see who's going to show up. Yeah. Buddy, I'm live streaming right now. I'm on a live stream on my channel. Hold on. Hold on, brother. Okay, there goes my connection. Are you on? Are you left? Okay, you left. All right. Genius. What's up, Lepanto? How are you? Sean shows up and he goes. All right. So the link is there. I can't force the anti Trinitarians to show up. Well, Edward, your Muslim friend knows where to find me, right? So your Muslim friend knows where to find me, and if he wants to ask questions, he's going to have to defend himself as well, but I don't think he's here to ask questions. So good, right? So far, so good?
Even though I'm frozen, can you still hear me? Oh, boy. Let's go to my hotspot then. Now, brother, I'm going to have to step away. I'm going to have to – hold on. I'm going to go have to get my phone charger. Hold on. phone charger before the phone dies the hot spot yeah let me see how are you brother the hot spot should make it better should all right is it doing better now is it good now i'm using my hot spot i decided to use hot spot i'm taking a risk doing this in a hotel room we'll see okay the link is there Streamyard. If there are anti-Trinitarians who want to prove that the Bible teaches their doctrine and not the Trinity and have objections to the Trinity, come on now. I may have to step away. So if I step away, what do I do, though? Pray the connection stays strong. Pray we don't lose the connection because he's using hotspot right now. See, the hotspot's much better. Only problem is I need to go get the phone charger. Run away. How do we do this? How do we get to the phone charger? Should I put on TV for you? Run away. See, you guys? It's okay. What's up, Edward? Why are you hiding your face, man? Oh, hi, Sam. How are you, buddy? I'm doing very well. How about yourself? I'm okay. Now, are you a Trinitarian or not? Um, I'm a Trinitarian Christian. I'm a Christian. I listen to you okay. all the time. Here's okay, hold on, buddy. We got another one. Yeah. Yes, sir. Slave of Christ. What do you need? One second. We got two of you. Oh, okay. let, me add, let me see if I can one add second. a Muslim friend. Edward, one second. Slave of Christ, what's up? Yeah, I'm not Protestant. I contacted you on Skype. You're not what? I said I'm not Protestant. I contacted you on Skype. Yeah, but this is about the Trinity. So are you here about no, the Trinity? Bad, my bad. I'll ask you. Are you about, here about the Trinity or no? Oh, here we go. Okay, Edward, go ahead, man. Yeah, and so I have been a Muslim. Here's what you're going to do, Edward. You're going to sit down. You're going to stop walking around giving us a tour of your house, all right? Okay. Okay, now here's what you're going to do for me, too. Just keep entertaining people. I got to go get the phone charger because if the, the phone dies, our connection dies, all right? Okay. So I want you to sing, do something, entertain people. Don't be boring. <laughs> okay. Okay? Sounds good, Sam. Don't, don't just look at the screen talk. Tell people who you are, your background, okay? Don't just sit there. Okay. Hello, everyone. Welcome to our stream today. Jesus Christ is Lord and King. I hope all of us have given our lives to him. Um, I believe in the Trinity. It's all the way in Scripture from the very first pages of Genesis to the end of Revelation. Jesus Christ is Lord and King. I hope we're all doing well today. Now, Hello, hello. Can you guys still hear me? Well, Sam is getting his charger. He'll be here any minute from now or a second from now. Are you are you working? 
How busy are you? I have, I have um, someone on stream for you. Keep talking, Edward. Yeah, I have, I have, I have a scholar on stream for, for you. You've been asking for scholars. Edward, I want you to know something, Edward. Yeah. My life sucks, buddy. <laughs> yeah, I have. You know why it sucks? Uh huh. Because I can't find my phone charger. Like I oh. can't find my luggage. Yeah, sorry about that. Yeah, well, that's not going to help us with the connection, will it? Yeah. So, why does my life suck? Can you tell me? <laughs> I don't know why. Did you did you prepare adequately before you traveled? What? Did you prepare yeah. adequately? Ah, uh, man. Yeah. All right. All right, Edward. Uh, what's up? What's your questions, buddy? Well, I so I have a, a friend on stream, and he um, on the phone with me right now, and he's a Muslim. Funny? Um, I've been trying to have questions with him about the Trinity. It doesn't work. Um, so I'd like you to. And you, you got to speak a little clearer so he can hear you. Yeah. Wait. Are you able to join? If if I send you a link, can you join the link? Uh, send who? What are you talking about? No, I'm I'm talking to him. I'm talking to him. Okay. Yeah. I don't know what's going on here. Somebody just reported me, huh? What the hell is this? Hmm. Can you believe it? I don't get it. Hey, buddy, are you having a conversation on your phone with him? So I have a Muslim friend on the phone, and he had questions. Okay, well, if your Muslim friend is not lying, you can join. Uh, okay. Okay, why, why are you doing this now live? Why didn't you figure it out before you joined me? Why is it, oh. uh, Edward, I attract people like you that cause me problems? I'm sorry about that. Was I born to stumble? No, you weren't. Okay, sir. So are we going to have a, like a 30-minute conversation with your friend on your phone that we can barely no, hear? Are you going to ask me questions? or What's the story now, sir? No, so I'm sending him the link so that he joins the stream. Okay. Sorry. Yeah. Baal, why'd you leave BL? You know, it's only it's only me. It's only my channel I track. Now I can't even find my phone charger. Edward, can you can you answer a question for me? Yeah. Why do I suck? <laughs> you don't suck, Sam. You're awesome. I wish I was, Edward. Why do I have serious mental issues, Edward? Can you explain that to me? I, I have no idea. No. Well, you agree I have serious mental issues, but you just don't know why I have them. <laughs> no, I feel like I feel like when you have conversations with Muslims all the time, maybe that, it does that to you. Come on, anti-Trinitarians. Come on, hop on. Hold on one second. I want to talk. When will I lose this pouch, Edward? No matter how much I exercise and I do calisthenics and cardio, when will I lose this pouch? And here's a, your friend laughing at me, huh? That's not that's Fabio. <laughs> We got Fabio. Hold on. Okay, now hold on, Edward. This guy. Oh. Fabio, how, how are you, buddy? Fabio, are you okay? It's true. Huh? What's going on, Fabio? It's true. What's it's true? A little louder, buddy. We can't hear you. <laughs> What's up, Fabio? It's the only my channel, buddy. Only on my channel. I can't understand. What's up, Fabio? What's happening? Okay. Anything else? Push. Anything else? No, 
Yeah, man. Yo, Shava. <laughs> Only on my channel, guys. Only on my channel. What's up, buddy? So, do you can you translate your song or no? Oh, you left. All right. So, so uh, I had a question. Um, yeah. In First Kings 19. Hold on, man. You got your friend. Is it Abu Bakr? Yes, that's he. Yeah, that, Abu that's Baca, it. You need to be sitting down, not walking around, buddy. Can you sit somewhere instead of walk? And we can't hear a word he's saying. Not a word's coming out of his mic. Your mic is off. Your mic is off. Your mic is off. Uh -huh, it's on now. Can you sit? No, it's not on, buddy. You know, guys, I have serious spiritual warfare going on when I have a Christian who decides to call his Muslim friend while we're live instead of arranging it before we go live. And then we have all these technical issues. And then we have that guy who just manifested. <laughs> and you're telling me I don't have uh, spiritual warfare going on, being attacked by the devil? <clears throat> okay. Buddy, what's going on here? Should I block you? Because of your friend's mistake, Edward? No, please, no, Sam. Okay. What is going on where you decide to call your friend while we're live streaming and not already arranged it before and the guy's mic is not working? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry that I exist. <laughs> sorry that, you know, I live in this world and I'm sorry that I have a YouTube channel and I'm sorry that I have... Serious issue. So how are we going to resolve this now? Uh, wait, can you speak? We can't hear you. Yeah, I'm speaking, buddy. No, uh, Abba. Yeah, I like the I like the other guy better than I like you. <laughs> All right. Hold on, I got to do that again, right? All right, hold on. Let me do this. Let me do this. What are we gonna do now? Are we gonna sit here? Wait, wait, here? wait take off your if you are connected to a Bluetooth, can you take it off? If you're connected to a Bluetooth or something, yeah. Hey, guys, should I uh, leave these guys behind as I ratchet them out of my channel? No, nah, so it might be the Lord working on his ads today. Don't worry. All right. Hey, it's we're the anti-Trinitarians. Come on, guys. I got to go see if maybe the charge is still in the phone, man. Maybe. I don't know. Yeah. Buddy, I want to give you 30 seconds. I'm going to send you and him to Mecca. No, no, please, no, please, no, 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 no. I don't want 30, anything to do with Mecca. 29, 28, 27, 26, 25, 24. 23, 22, 21, 20, <clears throat> 19, 18, Yo, can you take your mic off 17, and speak? 16, 15, 14. Okay. So there you go. All right. There you go. Let me do that one more time. I love Fabian. One more time, guys. All right. All right. Let's see. All right. One second, guys. Let's see what's going to happen. See? Tony, what's up, buddy? I'm figuring out. I'm trying to figure out what's up, too. One second. No clue. No clue. One second. 
Let's see if we're going to get anybody. And you're wondering why I have serious psychological mental issues. What's up, Mus? How you doing? Um, can you hear me, brother? Uh, yes, I can. OET, your connection's not working. What's up, Mus? Talk to me. All right, so long story short, I'm a Orthodox Christian, and I'm here to bring you an anti-Trinitarian source, if you want to answer that. Yeah, I can. So it's pretty much a Muslim or a Unitarian refuting yeah. um, Trinitarian verses in the Bible. Yeah, they put me to sleep, yeah? Right. I will, brother. Don't, don't you worry. <laughs> okay. So... um. I'm pretty sure it's on, it's on some Muslim website. You may recognize it if I give it to you. Just give me the verses before the rapture, dude. You guys, Christians, you guys Forgive got me, it. Brother. Forgive me. Um, oh, yes. Yeah, so I know this from memory. Don't worry. I know this from memory. What do you have to say about the first, you know, the prologue of John, right? You know the prologue of John. No, I didn't meet him. Uh, <clears throat> we haven't had coffee yet. You want to get to your objection, buddy, dude. Uh, can I ask you something? Are you on medication too? Yeah, I have serious mental issues, brother. Okay, well, then it's not going to help when you have two mental nuts, misfits, trying to talk. Can you get to the objection, dude? Yes. Uh, the most common objection to John 1 is, you know, the A God translation. Have you heard of that? What's the what's the objection? I don't get it. <clears throat> so, in the Jehovah Witness Bible, the New World Translation, I'm pretty sure they translate the the verse and the word was God to the word was a God. <clears throat> okay, so why did they do that? What's their argument? Well, they're trying to make the word to a lesser yeah, God. I know. Yeah. What's their reason for translating a God? Um, it's because I'm pretty sure in the Greek, the word theos doesn't have a definite article. And why does the lack of an article make it a god? <clears throat> well, I'm not sure. I'm not a Greek expert, but that's just the objection. That's my response. Why does the lack of an article before the noun make it indefinite? <clears throat> yeah, and well, isn't there... Does it have to have a definite article to be translated? I mean, I'm not a Greek expert. I don't know about this stuff. That's what I'm asking, to be honest. Did you understand my answer? Well, yeah. Okay. Yeah, all right. Why does <clears throat> the lack of the article make it indefinite, make it a god? Um, not sure. Exactly. So... This is why you got to learn how to ask the right questions. Okay, you're saying that <clears throat> the word theos there doesn't have the definite article, the before it, so it's not o theos. <clears throat> Therefore, that <clears throat> legitimizes your translation into turning the word into a god. Why? What is the reason? Give me some reason so I can see why <clears throat> the lack of the definite article before the word theos makes it an indefinite noun so instead of saying god it should be a god because in greek you either have the definite article or you do not have the definite article because in greek you don't have the indefinite article <clears throat> in other words yeah. greek doesn't have an a or an n it only has the definite article the now <clears throat> they would have to explain to me why <clears throat> the lack of the definite article before theos makes it a god because in John 1, 6, we're told that John was sent by God, and there it refers to the Father. And there is no definite article, but the last time I checked, they didn't translate it that John was sent by a God. Yeah. So what is the reason why it should be rendered as a God? That's a good point, because I also, later on in the verse, there is, um, well, verses without a definite article that referred to God the Father. So. Yes, so that's why <clears throat> instead of you falling for their trap, train yourself to know how to ask the right, que right questions. Yeah, that's a good one. I'll make sure I'll do that from now on. Um, 
that, that's and you this is why your friend should be here to ask those questions so i can engage him because you're asking on their behalf but you don't understand what their objections are i don't even think your muslim friend knows what the objection is <clears throat> yeah the they're collecting secondary sources from websites, from what yeah. I know. Also, um, well, I, I am just going to list from a website that they're probably collected it from, if you don't mind. It may take a while, but... I want to ask you a question, buddy. Yeah. Do you think they have six hours for you to go through a list that you're not prepared to share the objections with and you're deciding to do an impromptu? And secondly, is this list from your friend or you decided to look it up? Well, I looked it up, if I'm being honest. Yeah, you you must be on. What kind of medication do you take, and how many a day? I I don't even know, my friend. You don't know how many meds you're on? No. Okay, that's good. That's good. I'm proud of you. So so what? So just for to be clear, this is not someone who sent you the article, but you just decided to look it up. Yes. Hmm, interesting. Yeah. Here's my boy. This is my guy. What's up, Fabio? What's up, Fabio? What's up, buddy? This is my guy. This is my guy right here. This is my guy. I like him. Go ahead, friend. Okay. Go ahead, man. That's right. This is my guy, Fabio, right here, man. Come on, you know. That's my guy, dude. What's up, man? I love this guy, dude. I think he's using what do they call it? Uh, what do you enhance your image? Have you seen that? Uh, how many of you guys watch Superman cartoon? Have you? You remember the character Brainiac? There. Fabio, can you hear me or no? Say something, bro. Fabio, my guy, bro. That's my guy. Sargandi, you know, I'm the only channel in the planet that attracts such people, right? I mean, do you know of any other YouTube channel that gets this kind of spiritual attacks like Josh Farrell, who's a whore? See, Josh, he's a whore. We're still trying to figure out. I remember the first program of television that I recorded, the first one. I entered in the pod to do the personal, right, mother? Eu nem queria saber se era gravado, se era gravado ao vivo, Danis. Entrei mesmo. Fazendo logo para com o pessoal, pô, não. Alright, eu amo esse cara. Oh, I love this guy. Maybe as he's on, I can go look for my charger or something. I don't know. Right, like this one. Yeah. There is no other channel on the planet that gets this kind of attack and spiritual warfare. I swear to you, I do not know of any other channel that gets this kind of attack and spiritual warfare. Do you? I'm, I'm not lying. Where do you find this occurring on any other channel? Not only do we have our friend Fabio, but then you have this guy Mus, who doesn't even know why he's on my stream yard because he doesn't even know the questions that his Muslim friend has. So he goes and looks it up. Okay, now Fabio, you have you have your cousin here. here he is. What's up? Shabra? What do you need? Give me your name, Shadowboy. What you need? And this here, Shadowboy. Abu Bakr, if you keep acting up, I'm gonna send a Shia on you. Shut your pie hole. Shadowboy, you here? Yeshua Yaakov, I'm trying to figure out what's going on in myself. Gabriel, calma. 
Who's in the background? Hey, how are you? I'm in the gym. Hey, Mr. Okay, Fabio, do you mind if I put you on mute? Can I mute Fabio? I can't. How do I mute Fabio? Is there a way I can mute Fabio? Okay, there we go. All right, all right. So, Shadow Boy, you there, man? Are you not there, dude? All right, here. Let me send this guy out of here. Shadow Boy. All right, let's see. We're going to have to shatter this boy. Yes, sir. Sammy M. This year, buddy. Hey, Sam. Okay, now you're on. I'm like, man, what's taking to you? What's going on? Oh, uh, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. All right, uh, let me try to get to a quiet place real quick. Hold on, wait, wait, wait. You're at work or somewhere? No. Okay. I like your earring, by the way. Not. Why do you guys have to have earrings, man? Damn, but. Um, so my question will be particularly on early Christianity. And my question in particular is, do we have a, do, do Christians in particular have an oral tradition? Do Christians have what? An oral tradition. My friend, you know I love you, sir. What's the what's the title of the session today? Uh, the Trinity. And so can you help me connect oral tradition with the Trinity? Because I'm not the sharpest tool in the shed because I'm kind of mentally challenged, so, you know, because I do have mental issues. But what's the connection with oral tradition and the Trinity? So I'm saying this, right? We live in a day and age where everybody gives their interpretation, their own understanding of Scripture and a Trinity, you know, oneness and Trinity and all that. So mm -hmm. I'm saying, and a lot of people, a lot of different beliefs, hold that we have an old tradition or we don't have an old tradition. Like, for example, you got the Protestants, you got the Catholics. Good, <laughs> that was good, man. You guys saw the masterful way of how he tried to tie in the oral tradition with the Trinity and the interpretation of the Bible. You are a genius, sir. Where did you learn this, man? No, I'm just saying in general, like the Catholics say we have, have a tradition, right? Okay. If you, I mean, I, I'm pretty That's sure genius. you're very versed in uh, early church uh, history. So I'm saying, like, do we, does the church in general in the day of Jesus have an old tradition? Because if we have an old tradition, then we should go back to that old tradition and see how they understood the Trinity and how they understood the Godhead. When, before the New Testament was written, how do you think the message of Christ was transmitted? Oh, through the Old Testament. Pins and needles. Needles and pins. Happy we didn't, that. yeah, this canon wasn't written yet. We had the uh, the scriptures, the Old Testament. Before the New Testament, how do you think the gospel of Jesus was transmitted? Orally. You answered your question, right? Yeah, so like where, what information, where we go that will support so that? Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John write the words of Jesus. You mean Jesus <clears throat> had a book that he was reading from? What are they writing down? But they were right down the, the sayings of him, the teachings of and him. When he transmitted those sayings. Was he <clears throat> reading from a book, or how did he do that? Oh no, he got it. For, he got the teaching from the Father. And how did he pass those teachings on before they're written? Orally. And then when he sent them out in the power of the Holy Spirit, how did they communicate his words? Orally. You just answered your question that. The transmission of Jesus' revelation was oral because tradition means to pass on, to hand on, and to receive. Mm -hmm. So long before the New Testament, they were passing on mm -hmm. the teaching of Christ mm -hmm. and the people receiving the teaching of Christ. That's what tradition means. Mm -hmm. But in particular, if you want a verse, it's 2 Thessalonians 2.15. Mm -hmm. Hold on. So hold on a second. Okay, go ahead. So it's second Thessalonians, right? Oh my goodness, so long, man. I'm sorry. Nothing. Uh, one second. The demonic at attacks uh, are unbelievable. 
Yeah, you guys, if you, you don't know how much warfare is going on, now my, my oldest child wants to talk to me, and if I pick up, I we lose connection. Uh, all right. What, Sam, would it be proper for me to ask you, um, like, what uh, denomination or, like, what sect of Christianity do you belong the to? Yeah, the one that you're not in. What would that be? Whatever you're in, I'm not in it. How do you know what I'm in? I didn't. I haven't told because you. If I, just, just <clears throat> whatever you. I find out you belong to. I'm mm -hmm. jumping next door to the church. Mm -hmm. across now, the street. on the on on now on the Trinity, right? I do have a question for it. Okay, go ahead. Can the Trinity be found in the uh, Book of Genesis? Uh, particularly chapter one. How long have you been watching me, my friend? Uh, this is actually, this is, I'm new. So what you're going to do is you're going to go on my YouTube channel, on my blog. And okay. And you're going to Trinity in the Old Testament. Okay. And see what you find there. Instead of coming and asking me a question before doing your research and see if I've answered it. Okay. Right? Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Now, any other questions on the Trinity? Uh, No. I do have uh, one question though, but the, um, what's it on? Uh, no, I'm actually I'm all right. Thank you, Sam. Good man. I like that. I like your earring too, man. Next, I want to see a nose ring. No. Nope. <laughs> no, I want to see a nose ring. I saw an earring. Make sure next time it's a nose ring, okay? All right, I got you, Sam. Thank you. Yeah, man, love you bro. Okay, now we got some. Uh, yeah. God bless you. Now, Quack, I can't bring you on because you're not connected, Quack. Okay, what do you want, Abu Bakr Sadiq? Abu Bakr Sadiq, what do you want? Abu Bakr Abba Usman. Let's hear my friend. I want to hear my friend here. Hold on. Fabio, what's going on, buddy? How you doing? You doing okay, bro? Okay. Hey, it looks like he's got a marriage ring. You see? Hey, guys, you see Fabio's got a marriage ring. See that? He's got a marriage ring. Now, my friend Fabio is married, and I'm all alone. What the hell is going on with this world? This world is not fair, I tell you. We got nobody. So, guys, I have an open mic. Nobody's showing up. So, we'll see. If nobody shows up, we'll wrap it up. What's up, Mina? I don't know who Mina is. But... All right. Uh... Fabio, do you have any kids? God bless you, sir. Thank you for ignoring me. That's the story of my life. Everyone ignores me. Everyone ignores me. All right. All right. Let's see. Now, maybe we got someone. Can I help you? Kelly Abi Bilay? Uh it's it's pronounced Caleb. All right. Well, then. <laughs> Caleb, is, is the audio all right? Huh? Caleb, yeah. It's a it's a very, very weird weird way to yeah, spell Caleb. Caleb. Okay, what's up, buddy? Talk to me. So um I've been watching you for I think now three months now, and I seen Sorry. your whole series that you made on Young Don Unborn. Oh. Mm -hmm. And I just stumbled on this live stream. On, you 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 claim to call them unborn, so like I just okay, good, yeah. All right, so um, I stumbled upon this live stream, and you were talking about uh, trying to uh, disprove the Trinity biblically, and uh, I'm yeah. not sure if you know, but uh, Young Don created a whole animation explaining. Who cares about what he created, dude? What's the objection? No, I was wondering if you could just react to it, because like he. Why he did I react to it? Did he respond to any of my objections? No, I don't think so. Okay, so why are you wasting my time and your time, my breath and your breath? What are the objections that you want me to answer? Well, he pointed out one of the verses that Jesus said. I'm not sure the correct, the exact verse, but it said, uh, they may know you, Father, the only true God. So you mean the series that you supposedly watched, you didn't hear my response to John 17, 3? No, it was a long series. I, I watched. Oh, wait, 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 say it again. You didn't watch? Say it again. I didn't hear you. It, it was a, it was a, I didn't watch like, Okay. What's up, Emmanuel? You here? 
Yeah, I'm here. So um, I had this one question regarding because I saw the video. Oh, slowly, you're speaking oh. too fast. Sorry. So I saw this one video that you posted about um Jesus being God, right? I think it was the live stream. Um, you're that you made it fast again. You're nervous. Calm down slowly. So uh, I saw I, I saw the video that you made a while back with the live stream about um Jesus being God, right? Uh -huh. Um, and one of them used um Mark two eighteen nineteen talking about Mark the bride. Two, yeah, yeah. And, and Jesus saying that he was the bride chamber, which is um basically not the bride chamber, no. not bride chamber, bridegroom. Oh, what and yeah, and how um that that went back to the Old Testament and yeah. Isaiah fifty four and sixty two, right? Five, Isaiah fifty four five and Isaiah two sixteen to nineteen. Okay. Yeah. So um I was um talking to a Unitarian beside that, and he told me that that was simply just a parable. So like, how would I respond to that? You mean, so when we're told in Ephesians 5, 25 to 33, the church is the bride of Christ, not the father. That's a parable? No, uh, no, I won't mean that. And that's how I didn't think of that. And so. then in Revelation 21, 1 and 2, and 9 to 14, when <clears throat> John is told that heavenly Jerusalem is a, <clears throat> a bride prepared for her husband and she's the bride of the lamb, that's a parable? No, I wouldn't consider it a parable, no. Okay, so your Unitarian friend's a special kind of stupid because he still has to explain. In the parable, Jesus likens himself to who? The bridegroom. And then elsewhere, are we told Jesus is an actual bridegroom? Yes. And mm -hmm. his bride is the church in heavenly Jerusalem. What does mm -hmm. he not get? Well, I mean, well, no, he, he simply just believed that that was a parable, but that was, that was the only question I had. Yeah, but that's my point. Mm -hmm. A parable is meant to tell us something. And if it's not telling us that Jesus is the bridegroom to his people, then what is it trying to convey? <clears throat> Especially when you have passages in Ephesians 5, 25 to 33 that says the church is the bride of Christ. He's our husband. Second Corinthians 11, verse 3, 2 to 3, Paul says he's presenting the church as a chaste virgin to one husband, Christ. In Revelation 21, verses 1 to 2 and 9 to 14, we're told, Heavenly Jerusalem is the bride of the Lamb. The Lamb is her husband. So tell your Unitarian friend he's a special kind of stupid. All right, so thank you. Special, all right? All right, thank you. You got it, buddy. Take care. Okay, guys, we're running out of customers, so I may have to, um, I may have to end it because even Fabio is so bored he's not talking. Fabio, you there, buddy? He doesn't want to talk to me. Obviously, Fabio knows Jesus Christ because I say that because he's been following my channel. That means he's a believer. So Jesus bless him and preserve him in his household. But he just ignores me like everyone else. You see the story of my life? Everybody ignores me. Everybody ignores me. You see that? I think he's a follower. And what I mean is he found my channel and that means he's listening to me so glory to the lord jesus christ the lord jesus bless fabio the lord jesus bless his family the lord jesus preserve him the lord jesus preserve his loved ones the lord jesus reveal himself to fabio the lord jesus reveal himself to his family and preserve him but <clears throat> somehow he got on my channel and so christ have mercy on him <clears throat> christ have mercy on his family christ have mercy on all of us god bless you fabio i don't know what else i can do so I don't know what to say. All right, guys. I don't know what to tell you. <clears throat> okay, Fabio, do mind, you mind if I let you go? God bless him. Anyway, you can tell the brother is married. So he may have some condition that has affected him later in life. So pray for him. Lord Jesus bless you, Fabio. Okay, brother. I don't speak Portuguese, so I can't say anything to you. So we pray the Lord Jesus bless you. The Lord Jesus bless your family. The Lord Jesus preserve you. The Lord Jesus preserve your family. And the Lord Jesus reveal his love for you. In Jesus' name, when our Christ, our Lord and Savior returns, he will make us whole. He will make us perfect, spiritually, socially, psychologically, and physically. May the blood of Jesus Christ wash you, your household, all of us, in Jesus' name. I'm going to let him go, brother, because I thought maybe it was someone here trolling me. But no, it's not. This is this this man, you can tell, you know, he's he's not trolling he's not making fun so fabio take care brother
I wish someone could speak Spanish to him, man. Jesus bless you, Yehovah Rapha, Father, Son, Holy Spirit, in Jesus' name. I don't know. Take care, buddy. Bye, Fabio. Maybe the... Bye. Bye, brother. Love you. Jesus loves you. All right. I, I can't... I don't know. Anyway, he doesn't understand. All right. Okay, what's up, buddy? Don't lose doubt. I'm about to lose a lot of hope because you're not losing that. Right. Here we go. Don't lose to doubt. You there, buddy? Okay, guys, nobody's coming. Lori, how are you doing, sister? Last night before I shut down, you, like you disappeared. I hope you're okay. God bless you, sister. God bless all of you. If you wanted proof of the spiritual warfare this channel undergoes, is, could it be any clearer? Could it be any clearer, brethren? You understand the amount of spiritual attack and warfare? Do you see it, right? You tell me, am I exaggerating? Do you see the kind of spiritual attacks we undergo, this channel undergoes, I undergo, when I tell you that we're constantly being attacked by the kingdom of darkness, it's spiritual warfare, and Satan hates me? He hates all of you, and Satan wants to take me out, which is why I need to be filled with spirit, covered by the blood of Jesus Christ, and why he's always pricking people to prick me so I can stumble. I mean, is this coincidental, the stuff I'm going through? So anyway, I guess there's nobody, so we're going to have to end it. I don't know, Manny, are you still here, Manny, or are you leaving, buddy? Do you need to have another question? Yeah. Zayder, here's my answer to your Muslim. Here, Xavier, here's your uh, answer. Zayder, here you go. You're a special kind of stupid. You probably are a son of a Shia. Okay, there you go, buddy. I know. I don't think you understand what the name of the topic is. Okay. So we got a Muslim Spaniard. Who is this? We already saw you, sister. Are you Spanish? I mean, are you Muslim? Sorry. We already saw what you oh, looked like. Are so, you speak Spanish? Any... No, I don't speak Spanish. No, no, I, I, no, I, I speak English, but my English is very bad. So, okay, so what is I your am name calling name? only for one. Ah, uh, my main is Spanish. Yeah, no learning Islam. No learning Islam. No, I believe in English. No, slowly. Yep. Knowing Islam. No learning. No learning Islam. I believe there's no learning Islam. You believe what? Uh, Islam in English is Nolin Islam. You you have knowledge of Islam? Mm, something like that, but I am a Christian. Okay, good. What's the question then? Because I can't understand. <laughs> is um here is the problem, and there are there is in my city there are um, many churches, but. but they are preaching a pro, uh, another gospel, okay? Um, I was yes. uh, going to a tour at the Sianic Church, and last week I, I found something, and uh, they don't believe uh, Jesua or Jesus is God. Um, okay. The problem Messianic is uh, I am a very new, new Christian, okay? If You're a brand I new Christian? Know, yeah, and yeah, you know, we need somebody no, I, 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 am a new, I am a new Christian, so mm -hmm. um, I don't know how to yeah. talk with them because they know yes. so much, and I am very new. So yeah. I was, well, I mean, I we have a language from, barrier. Your English, English for me. your English is not good, and you're not going to understand me too good. So you need someone to translate for you. Your English is not too good, and you're not going to understand me too well, right? 
You need someone to translate for you. No, you I understand you, but no, I understand oh. what you're saying. Mm. I understand what you're saying, but I don't speak English. Yeah, she's talking about messianic churches. There is a group of individuals who call themselves messianic believers. Most of them are Gentiles who want to be Jews. Some are Jews that think Jesus is not God. So she found a messianic congregation where they taught Jesus is not God. So she wants to try to witness to them. But she's a new Christian. That's what she just said. So, but then you have to know your faith and you have to know what the Bible teaches to refute them and teach that Jesus is God. So do you know your faith that well? Okay, now she's typing in the private chat as I'm having a conversation with her. Uh, you, you guys, you don't see the spiritual warfare? Sister, do you want to talk or are you going to type? Are you back, Emmanuel? What is it, man? What do you need? What do you need, Emmanuel? Oh, hello. Oh, well, also, I had, um, I did have another question as well. But if you want, um, I could translate for Conociendo el Islam because I know Spanish as well. Are you sure? Yes. Okay, okay you got a translator here. All right. El Islam. Do you want to talk now? Ah, ok. Español, ok. Bueno, el problema es, eh, yo soy una nueva cristiana. Ok. Eh, she says that the problem is that she is a new Christian. Yeah, that we've got that part. We've got that part. Mm -hmm. eh, estoy asistiendo a una congregación mesiánica, pero los mesiánicos en mi localidad no creen que Jesús es Dios. But she's attending a messianic church with the local church, but they do not believe that Jesus is God. Yeah, that part we got mm -hmm. too. Eh, el argumento que dieron es... Dios no puede morir, por eso Jesús no puede ser Dios. Es un argumento parecido al Islam. They made an argument similar to a Muslim argument that okay. because because Jesus um died and God can't die, that Jesus cannot be God. Okay, so that's their best argument. Eh, eso, entonces eh, le pregunto si eso es su mejor argumento. No, realmente eh, estuve apenas posteando la información en un chat de ellos en inglés y eso fue la respuesta que me dieron en inglés. She said that she was asking them um, questions about this, and that was the answer that they gave them in a chat that she was attending. So how did she answer the question? Él, él le preguntó que cómo tú lo respondiste, cómo tú respondiste al, al respuesta. Okay, yo posteé Isaías 9.6, donde she dice said, uh -huh. que un niño no se ha nacido y será Dios al final, a lo yeah. matigar. Mm -hmm. She said that, um, when they said that, that she responded with Isaiah 9.6, what has that got to do with answering the question? She didn't answer the question. Él preguntó que qué tiene que ver qué tiene que ver eso con la con la respuesta que ellos le dieron. Okay, la respuesta es la siguiente. Eh, Isaías 9:6 dice que el Mesías será Dios. He she said that the reason she posted that is because Isaiah 9:6 proves that the Messiah will be God. She didn't answer their question. Él dice, pero lo que pasa es que tú no le respondiste la respuesta de que Jesús no puede morir. No, o sea, Por eso digo, soy nueva cristiana, no, no les contesté con la respuesta de por qué Dios puede morir o no. She said that because she's a new Christian, she can't really give them, she can't really respond to um, their answer yeah. that God cannot die. So then she needs to not engage people when she doesn't know the faith. She has to learn her faith. Um, el hombre aquí dice que lo que, tiene, lo que pasa es que tú no la puedes estar. Eh, tiene dos conversaciones y tú no tienes esa sabiduría todavía porque tú eres nuevo creyente. Ok, pero mi pregunta era, yo miro el material en inglés, yo comprendo en inglés mis dificultades para leerlo. ¿Qué material He's... puedo utilizar el canal de él para poder argumentar a estas She... afirmaciones? Oh. She said that she um, that she is able to understand English, but she would want to know that what type of um, videos or information have you posted for her to be able to answer this question. So I have about 10,000 videos on the Trinity and Christ being God and refuting objections. She's not, okay. She needs to start watching. Okay. El hombre aquí dice que él ha posteado muchos videos sobre la tópica de la Trinidad, de Jesús siendo Dios y de, eh, cosas eh, similares que tú puedes ver en su canal. 
Ok, era eso. Muchas gracias. Ok. She said that's right it. Thank you. Now say, when someone asks me that question, how can God die? Translate for her. Ahora, él dice ahora, cuando alguien me pregunta que cómo Dios puede morir. And then I would say, what do you mean by death? Entonces, oh, él le preguntará. Oh, by the way, you understand my English, right? Yeah, but like, it's kind of like wishy-washy understanding. Oh, okay. okay. So say, what do you mean by death? What do you mean God dies? What do you mean by death? Okay. Ahora, él le preguntará a esa persona que qué es lo que tú significa con, cuando dice muerte, cuando dice que Dios puede morir. Now let her answer that question. I want to know, I want to know what okay. she thinks about death. Ahora, ¿qué tú le contestas uh, con eso? ¿Qué, ¿Qué tú significa por la muerte? Eh, generalmente la respuesta va relacionada con el hecho del ser humano, es decir, por el hecho de ser humano, Jesús murió. Ok. She I'm said, not asking about Jesus, I'm saying, what does she think death means? She thinks that, she thinks that death means basically that um, the human dying, and since Jesus... I'm not asking about Jesus, what does she think death means? Ahora, él quiere preguntar de nuevo, ¿qué, qué, qué tú significa, qué, qué, qué significa la muerte? Ah, ok. Eh, poner fin a esta existencia en esta tierra, humanamente hablando. The, um, your substance basically dying or ceasing. No, that's the wrong definition. That's not what that means. El dijo que ese significado está mal. No response from her. I'm waiting to see what she's oh, going to say. Significa que está mal. El hecho es humanamente nosotros perecemos en esta carne. Esa es mi eh, mi, con, mi mi idea. Es decir, humanamente nosotros en este cuerpo morimos, pero espiritualmente she's, no. She said she said that she asked how can it be wrong? Based on what a human a human dies, it means that um a human feel, um ceases to exist so and that why is she here? Why is she here? Why is she here? Asking me questions she, when she's already made up her mind because she thinks she knows the answer when she doesn't know the Bible. El, el dijo, el dijo que por qué, por qué tú le preguntas esa, esa, por qué tú le preguntas eso, o por qué tú le haces una respuesta, si ya tú crees que tú tienes algo en tu mente, sin querer buscar algo que es verdad, que dice la Biblia. So why are you here? Why, when she understands, why are you here asking me questions when you already think you know the answer. This is why you're getting yourself in trouble because you don't know the Bible and yet you think you do. Él dice que por, por, qué tú le, por qué tú estás aquí buscando respuestas si ya tú crees que tú tienes una respuesta en tu mente que tú no crees que tiene chance de estar mal. No, porque creo que yo puedo estar equivocada por eso es que estoy acá. Es decir, yo sé que las, la, el 100% de lo que yo tengo en mi cerebro no es verdad. Por eso necesito aprender porque, como le digo, soy nueva creyente. She said that no, she believes that um she could be she could be wrong on certain things, yeah. and her mind made up, and that's why she's here because she's a new believer. Well, no. When I asked her about death, she said, "Well, how can death not mean ceasing to exist? Who told her that when you die, you cease to exist?" El dijo que por qué tú dices. El dijo que cuando él te preguntó eso, que tú dices que que lo que significa la muerte que una persona perezca y cómo entonces eh, tú con esa respuesta ya en tu mente no creo que puede estar mal. Porque humanamente dejamos de existir, pero la gente, por lo que he leído hasta ahora en la Biblia, tiene un espíritu que nunca deja de morir, que no muere, mejor dicho. Okay. She said because she believes that the Bible teaches that um, the death means that when a man ceases to exist, even though your spirit doesn't. Okay, so now she changed the definition. If her spirit, if your spirit doesn't cease to exist, that means you don't cease to exist. So what is she talking about? Él dice que cuando si si él dice que si tu espíritu no vas a perecer, que cómo tú puedes decir que eso es muerte sin nada más tu cuerpo. Esa era mi pregunta. Yo sé que el espíritu no muere. Yo sé que eh, Yeshua o Jesús no murió. We're not talking about Jesus now. Keep she, to the question. She said she said that she knows she said that she knows that um that the spirit cannot die and that mm -hmm. that was her question. Okay, so then. She just changed her answer from you cease to exist to the spirit does not die. So that means if the spirit does not die, then you don't cease to exist. It's your spirit that makes your body alive. Él dice que si tu espíritu no muere, entonces tú no mueres porque tu espíritu es lo que te hace vivo. 
Si esa parte yo la entiendo, ¿ok? She said that, that that is the part that she understands. Okay, so now that she got the right definition of death, that you don't cease to exist, but your spirit leaves your body, your body goes to the ground, but your spirit is still alive. Jesus can die a human death and still be alive. Share that with him. Okay. Ahora, él dice, ahora que tú tienes el significado bien sobre lo que es la muerte, que el cuerpo, eh, que el cuerpo, que lo que es que el muerte es que el espíritu se separa del cuerpo. Ahora tiene que entender que Jesús puede morir sin, tu, sin tu, su espíritu perecer. Did she get that? Sí, comprendo. Okay, she, she says that she understands, yes. Okay, so when they asked her, how can Jesus be God? God cannot die. They're thinking, when you die, you cease to exist. And God cannot cease to exist. This is what they were thinking. Ahora. Lo, cuando, cuando, esa, cuando esa gente te preguntaron que cómo Jesús puede morir, lo que ellos creen es que eh, morir es, es, es perecer de vivir, que, no, que ya tú no puedes vivir. Pero ahora tú tienes significado bien sobre eso. ¿Ella entiende lo que estaban tratando de ver? Que Dios no cease to existir. Y Jesús Jesus yeah. died, Él cease to existir. Ahora ves que cuando dice que, que Jesús murió, puede ser que su, que su eh, humanamente now, murió, pero el Espíritu no. Ok, now before you move on, to before she answers, what should I do to this arrogant dog who's telling me how to deal with this sister in the Lord who thinks he's doing Jesus a favor? This arrogant, low-life dog, she just wants your help, Sam, so be patient, please. What do I do to a spiritual prostitute like this? who comes to my channel being a spiritual whore, assuming I'm not being patient with her because he thinks he's spiritual and pious, but he's a filthy dog worse than a Mohammedan. This George, this this spiritual prostitute. What should I do to this guy? Uh, mute him. Yeah. Block him like the Shia blocked his mother. You're a disgrace. You're a scum. You are a son of the devil. You're no Christian. Get this dog out of here. Okay, go ahead. Did she understand? Uh, well, I told her about okay. Did she get it now? Entendite. Sí, claro, hasta ahí, sí. Okay, she said that she understands now. So then that's why you tell them Jesus died, but he did not cease to exist. He was still alive because as God, he ever lives. So to die a human death doesn't mean he stopped existing. And I'm going to give her the verse to prove it. But go ahead. El, el dice, ahora, ahora tú entiendes que cuando que Jesús murió, pero él no dejó de existir. Entonces, hay, hay una indiferencia entre, entre los dos. She got it? Entendiste. Sí, claro, entiendo, comprendo. Okay, okay she, she's understanding. Now I'm going to give her the proof from the Bible that Jesus died, but he was still alive. Okay. okay. Ahora él te va a dar la, la prueba bíblicamente que lo que él dice es cierto. Okay. John chapter 2 verses 19 to 22. Juan, John, cap Juan capítulo 2, 19 a, a 22. You said 19 to 22, right? Yes. Okay. I'm going to read it for in English. She understands. Okay. okay. Jesus said, Jesus said, destroy this temple and I will resurrect it in three days. The Jews said it's taken 46 years to build this temple because they thought he was talking about the temple in Jerusalem. You will raise it up in three days? But Jesus was talking about the temple of his body. So understand, Jesus said, when you destroy my body, the temple, I myself will raise it back. Did you get that? Entendite, si o no? O quiere que te lo traduce? Eh, no, si comprendo. Okay, she understood. So my question would be, when she sees them, say, how could Jesus raise his body to life if he ceased to exist? How could he do that if he wasn't existing? Ahora, lo que tú le preguntes a esa persona o a esa gente, es que cómo puede ser que Jesús sube su, su, su cuerpo, su templo, si ya dejó de existir. Ok. Sí, sí, comprendo. Okay, yes, so yes. that means Jesus was still alive, and as God, he has power over death because only God can raise 
the dead, but Jesus said he will raise his body up. Ahora de tú es que lo que Jesús quiere decir que él es Dios, porque siendo porque estando muerto, como él estaba muerto, todavía tiene el poder de resucitarse él mismo. She got it, right? Entendiste. Sí. Okay. Then on the other passage, John 10, 17 to 18, John chapter 10, verses 17 and 18, okay. Jesus says in John 10, 17 and okay. 18. Otro, otro pasaje que él va a leer es Juan 10, 17 a 18. Okay. And I'm going to read it as she re looks at it. Jesus says, for this reason, my father loves me because I lay my life down of my own accord. No one takes it from me. I have the power to lay it down and the power to take it up. So Jesus says, he chooses to die and then he will bring himself back to life. Ahora, This can be received from my father. Otra prueba aquí es que Jesús mismo dice que él tiene el poder de quitarse es, es, es sí mismo la vida, pero también tiene el poder de resucitarse él mismo. Ok. So she got it now? Yeah. Ok, there you go. So that's how you answer that stupid objection. So así es como tú le puedes responder cuando vino con esas cosas. Ok, vale. Muchísimas gracias. Muy amable. Perdón okay. por el tiempo. Okay, she said, she said, thank you very much. Tell her every answer to all their objections will be on my YouTube channel. She just goes on the search engine, put in Trinity or put in Jesus God. It's all there. Él dice que ahora cada video que tú quieres para este tipo de información, tú vas a su canal y pones Trinidad o pones Jesús Dios. Y así te, se te aparece la información. Eh, ok, muchas gracias. Estaré viendo los videos y tomando notas. Muy amable. Ok. She said thank you. She's going to be watching the videos and taking notes. And then one final advice for her. Ok. Y un último consejo. Learn your faith and understand it before you go and debate it. Because if you don't know your faith, they will tear you up and embarrass you. And you don't want to be embarrassed for the glory of Jesus. You want to be prepared. Él dice ahora, lo que tú tienes que hacer es entender lo que tú crees para que cuando discutes con ese tipo de persona, tú puedes saber lo que decir para que no te destruyan y para que te fortalezca. Ok, vale. Muchas gracias. Eh, estaré haciendo eso. Puedo okay. comentar algo brevemente. Ok. She okay. said thank you. She said thank you very much. She'll be doing that, but she wants to say one more thing. Ok. Mira, el problema es eh, rápidamente... La mayoría de congregaciones en mi localidad eh, predican el Evangelio y la prosperidad. Hay pocos lugares okay. de buena enseñanza bíblica. Mm -hmm. Ok. Y, She said, uh, uh. Continúa. Y temo que si no me reúno en alguna congregación, eh, pues voy a perder mi fe porque mi familia no está cimentada en la fe. Entonces, no sé a qué congregación ir y la razón por la cual existe una congregación es, es por eso. She said that a problem is that um, a lot of the congregations around her teach her prosperity gospel, like their charismatics. So then she is scared that if she does not go to a congregation, that she will end up losing her faith since her family is not Christian. Okay, so the problem is she comes from a Catholic background, right? Eh, tú vienes de una familia católica. Eh, sí, no practicantes eh, culturales, eh, católicos okay. culturales. So, so they, they're professing Catholics, but they don't really practice it. I'm asking her, her, she came out of a Catholic church? Uh, no, not really. What was their background? It's, it's kind of like how, um, in, in many Hispanic cultures, like, um, they claim to be Catholic, but they do not really practice the faith. That's the goal on, like, Eastern oh, stuff. Saying, now, like, like this guy, Josu Cuelas, he's a whore, and his mother is a female dog, and he worships Satan, his father. So we know he's going to go to hell unless he repents, because he thinks the blessed mother is like his mother, because his mother is a whore. So he thinks all women are like that. So this is why he thinks we worship Mary, because he's a whore, and his mother's a whore. So he thinks all women are, is like his mother. But thank Jesus Christ, the Blessed Mother is holy, while well his mother's a whore. I'm asking, did she was she baptized in a, in a Catholic church? Did she was raised in a Catholic? Church? Okay. okay. Una pregunta. Tú te bautizaste en una familia católica y te y te creaste en una familia católica. Eh, sí. She said okay. yes. So now, say notice, you left the Catholic Church, you didn't understand, 
And now you're finding all these churches that are confused. Sí, él dice que ahora tú dejas de la iglesia católica y ahora estás encontrando todas estas iglesias que están confundidas. Right? Sí. Sí, sí, sí. So, they, why, why not go back and understand your Catholic faith, which was there before the Protestants and all these groups, first understand it to see what they believe, before deciding to go into all these confused churches, one more confused than the other. Él dice que por qué ahora tú no vuelves a la iglesia católica para tratar de entender lo que ellos creen, en vez de ir a todas estas iglesias que vinieron después de la iglesia católica, que están confundidas. Ah, oh, ok, ok, trataré de hacer eso. Ok, she said that she would try to do that now. Yes, say, you owe it to yourself, go back to your roots, go to someone who's a scholar of the Catholic Church, and be careful, not every Catholic is a real Catholic, and there are bishops that are demons, Because Jesus warned us, there'll be wolves pretending to be Christian. Be careful of them. Malos. By the way, it's it's better that Catholics pray to statues than your mother praying to the Shia and worshiping at their feet when they prostitute her like a whore. And it's better than the Shia praying on your mother sexually to give birth to a dog like you. That's why you don't know. I would piss on you, but my urine's cleaner than you. So did she get it? You don't need it. Sí, claro. Okay, you understand. So guys, go back, learn your faith, because I promise you when you learn what Catholicism teaches, you're going to regret that you went out of it to these other churches that are all confused, one more confused than the other. Él dice, ahora tú tienes que ir y volver a la iglesia católica, aprender lo que verdaderamente enseñan, para que dejas de atender todas las iglesias que están confundidas. Vale, muchas gracias. Ok. Sí, sí, thank you. All right, God bless you, sister. Come back again if you have questions. Dios se bendiga. Vale, muy amables. That's it. Any more questions or she's okay? No tiene, no tiene otra pregunta. Nada, nada más. No tiene nada eh, no, más. por ahora sí. Miraré los videos y si tengo alguna okay. pregunta, le escribo. Okay. She said no. She's just going to now, um, she's going to take your advice and watch the videos. And if she has any um, questions, she'll um, leave a comment. God bless you both. Thank you, brother. And Lord bless her and on her journey and preserve all of us. Thank you for helping, man. Okay. Take care, guys. God bless you. God bless you. Okay, we got some more people here. Can I help you? Dylan, besides I hear your dog barking in the back. Dylan. 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 I'm about to dial in your house phone and get you busted up and arrested. Here you go, Dylan. Bye-bye. Yep, can I help you? Hey Sam, I have a question. Uh, maybe it's not directly about the Trinity thing, but it kind of is. So I have a question. I'm, I'm a Christian myself, but I have a question which I not really understand. It has to do with the Trinity, not that it is not directly to the topic it may be. Can you speak a little faster because you're not speaking fast enough. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> but I have a question about, let's say, Daniel 7, 9, um, yeah. where Daniel sees the Ancient of Days, right? All right, so he sees him, and then uh, John also sees him um, when he has the seven, story. yeah, seven seals right in his right hand. Yes. I, I, the only thing I don't understand is when you read John one eighteen, where it says that no one has seen the Father. Leo, how do? Yeah. When do you want me to block you? You want me to block you now or like five minutes from now? Why? I have a serious no, question. No, I mean, no, you answer my question. Man. When do you want me to block you now or five minutes from now? It's up to you, man. That is up to you. No, 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 no. You got two choices, now or five minutes. You got to answer one of those two. Oh, then let's do five minutes then because I'm serious. Okay. I'm a Syrian too, but you don't sound a Syrian. If I go on my YouTube channel and search engine, I put God, Father, Scene, and I show you I have over six, seven videos explaining John 118. Will you then say, Sam, you're right to block me because I'm yeah. a troll? 
I'm not. No, I'm not a troll. I'm not a troll. Okay. 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 I'm a troll, even though I said I'm a Christian, because if I've been following you, you said ten million times. Search, you'll find the answer on my channel. And just recently, a couple weeks ago, you addressed what it means that God the Father can't be seen. So I'm a miserable human being pretending to be a Christian so I can make you miserable because if I'm not happy, you can't be happy, Sam. No, not, I'm genuine, dude. I'm not here to troll at okay, all. So should I block you now or three minutes from now? That's up to you. I, I, I'm not like what you think. Okay, well, like, you got one or two choices, now or three minutes from now. <laughs> Keep the three minutes then. <laughs> okay. Now, if I show you on my phone, which I don't want to do, I don't want to lose connection. All right. Here, let me do this. Well, I can't do it. I'll just go on my YouTube channel and search, and I'll put in, I'll put in Godfather scene here. I'm gonna do this. Okay, All right. Here. And when I show you, there's like six videos. Then I'm gonna block you out of love. Okay? Because I want. Then, you then know, I have to answer. That's my answer. Where can I, can I find I, it? Can I finish? Yeah. Because yeah. I want to spare you time in purgatory so if i if i cause you to suffer now that means less time in purgatory here you go god father scene okay all right man watch what comes on here's the link let me see the link. i'm gonna put it right there here on the screen and i'm gonna show you on my phone if i lose connection then you're gonna suffer the consequences you see right there okay now watch here but i can't do it because mm -hmm. It won't show me here but now let's see let me see if i can open it up all right my friend Stop I, have on the I, have one, I have one question for you why Ayo, are you angry at me because, I'm genuine, because genuine. people like you make me hate humans and you disgust me okay all right now watch here you ready you ready are you ready up to you man is it up to me you sure whatever you want you sure mm -hmm. I already told you, man. Yeah, I told you too, man. Take a hike. All right, you guys got it? You got the link? Hey, uh, Carrie Lake, you there? Carrie Lake. Carrie Lake. Here, Carrie Lake. This did not rise itself back up. Why are you lying? There are many verses. What's up? Talk to me. Yeah, I wanted to ask you. Whenever someone in chat asks you a stupid question, why do you use all that? Yeah. Down, girl. Hello. What's all right. What you Go so, ahead. um, so the other day, right, I was watching. I remember that you uploaded the video about Young Don, right? And then, um, I think I asked you. You were making the video with God Logic, and it referenced First Timothy six, and it was talking about who alone has immortality, the King of Kings, Lord of Lords, right? And then. Again, I was talking to a Unitarian, and he told me that the text supports the fact that that is not talking about Jesus, but that is talking about Jesus revealing God. So, um, how would I respond to that objection? Hello.
You know, this guy has serious emotional, psychological issues. When he sits there in complete silence with me, and he thinks we're going to sit here and just be silent for two hours. Okay. Guys, we have no more. I hope you enjoy this, God willing. And I thought I'm the only guy that has serious psychological issues. I'm sitting here on silence and the guy's silent and he thinks we're just going to have a silent contest all day all night it doesn't dawn on him hey this guy's not responding maybe that's my cue to leave because if i can't show from the context that it's jesus then i may need to go back to kindergarten and start over again you're great as a translator you're great as a translator right so you wanted a silent contest, you see, All right? Logos. Brethren, we're done. God willing, I may see you again. Now, after watching this session, if you're not convinced, okay, if you're not convinced, this is not a normal channel. I'm not a normal <clears throat> teacher, apologist, debater. And I don't attract normal folk. I do not know what more proof you would need to convince you. I'm not a normal teacher, apologist, debater. This is not a normal channel. I don't attract normal people. I attract people that give me a run for my money when it comes to being a special needs individual. I thought I had special needs. These guys give me hope that I'm not as wacko and as mentally challenged and disturbed as I thought. So I appreciate them. I appreciate them because they restore my confidence in that they let me know there are people out there that make me look healthy and intelligent and smart, that I'm not as psychologically troubled as I assume. Now, we have some clowns here. I had a butt. Let's see what he wants. Yeah. Yes. My God surgery. the Father raised Jesus from the. Yes, yeah, right. What's up, Andre? What's up, buddy? <laughs> Yo, that's crazy. How What's you up, bro? I saw you nod your head, and we caught you. Right? Yeah, because uh, because the the guy playing the the. Yeah, the bro. Like they, really bro. Expect you, they really expect you to hear that and then respond. You handsome, pepper pepper beard studs you. What's yeah. up? I don't know if your mods, they don't like me or what's up. They continue to, I always, I'm typing in a thing. They continue to block me. So I am trying to like reach out to you on the, on the message, but can you please block me again? I don't yeah. Know. Send me the, Hey, this guy's kosher, man. Can't you tell he's a handsome dude? Send me your link again. This is now the third you. time I've unblocked this dude, man. I literally, uh, Sam, I want to, I want to talk to you about just, um, Philippian where talk, I was listening to someone say, uh, hey, where are you going? You want to laugh? You want to laugh? What's up? Yeah. Me? Watch this. Yes. Can we help you? See? Go ahead. Yes. All right. <laughs> okay, sir. Oh, Philippians, where it talks about, um, I heard somebody say that, uh, basically, when, I know I've learned that from you that Jesus became a servant. And so what actually he laid aside, is it safe to say? I just want to articulate it. Is it safe to say? Um, that he laid aside his, his, uh, uh, what would you call it? I'm, I'm no, that's nothing to do. Laying aside. Nothing to do with him setting aside divine attributes. There you go. Nothing, yeah. nothing. If you read Philippians two, mm -hmm. six to eight, he laid aside his status. That's all it's talking about. Anyone who tells you that he set aside divine attributes or the use of specific divine attributes, baloney. If you read the context, mm -hmm. it says that he set aside his equality with God. What does it mean, equality with God? The equality he had with the Father in status and position and glory because he went from the status of God to the status of a slave. Mm -hmm. Go 
Philippians 2, 5 to 11, it's all about the status, the position Jesus had set aside to assume a lowly status and then was exalted to the status he had before he set it aside, mm -hmm. but now with one new element. So, and I want everyone to understand this. In Philippians 2, 5 to 11, Jesus being in the form of God meant he would have the status of God, the position of God, the glory of God, the authority of God, and thereby was equal to the Father in status. But he set it aside voluntarily to make himself nothing, meaning to <clears throat> become a slave in status and position because to be in the form of a slave means you are a slave well if you're a slave that means you've taken the status of a slave right right okay to be in the form of god means you're god and if you're god that means you have the status of god right yes all right so it's talking about the equality he had with god the father in status and position by virtue of also being god in nature because if he's god in nature that means he's one with the father right yes and if he's one with the Father, that means he's equal to him in status and position, right? The Father, yes. All right. But what did he do? Make himself nothing. And then explains how. He made himself nothing by taking on the form of a slave right. and humbling himself, meaning he went from having this exalted status, the highest status one could have, the status of God, making him supreme over creation, to mm -hmm. take the lowest status imaginable, the status of a slave, and being obedient even unto death, which, by the way, was the death of slaves. If you were a slave that robbed or dishonored your master, you'd be crucified. Mm. So here, Jesus shows that he was a slave because he died the death of a slave at the time of Rome, crucifixion. And then what God did, exalted him. So you see its status? In the form of God, having the status of God, then humbling himself to the lowest status imaginable, becoming a slave, to being exalted in status. So all he set aside was his status, his position, that he enjoyed in heaven before he came to the earth to humble himself to become a slave. And that's John 17, 5, where Jesus says, And now, Father, glory. glorify me with the glory. together with yourself, with the glory I had with you before the world was. Right, right. So do not let anyone tell you do not anyone tell you that this means that Jesus emptied himself of the use of certain divine attributes or that he set aside divine. That's not what the text is saying. Yeah, yeah. I definitely understand uh, that guy. And I, once you said the word status, I do remember you have mentioned it before you, you, you hit on it. But, you know, those videos are a little hard to, like, needle in the haystack sometimes because they're... Yeah, they're yeah. I, yeah. if I, it was a professional organization where I had people on staff that could edit. and But I'm a one-man show and working in a kitchen, now in a yeah. hotel. Especially you will have to put a lot of uh, tags on your on the YouTube channel for you to, like, uh, you know, Trinity or even Philippians, you know, on certain issues. It's a lot of work. I, I understand. Yeah. So and I wish uh, – my problem is I'm not that good with technology. If I had learned early on, like David Wood did, that's why I went viral. But glory to Jesus, even with these meager efforts. Mm -hmm. Jesus is still using this ministry and using me an imperfect, <clears throat> sinful, psychologically challenged yeah. slave of his. And may the Lord Jesus Christ be glorified in my life. May he increase. And may I love the Lord Jesus Christ with perfect love. And may I give him all glory and no attention to myself. And I pray that for you, brother. Um, so I hope that answers your question. It, it did. I, I just sent, it did answer my question. And um, I, I do appreciate it. I, I'm so grateful that you, you're you here. I saw what happened with the other guy who um you know was asking you about the question regarding that god i literally have like five tabs open just of you speaking on this specific right. topic of uh how god has been seen and people just like literally see it see watch it till the end they'll see that you touch on it a lot of times on or five tabs i kid you not wish i could share my screen with you so you can see just of you i literally have just sh right. see how many have so when the guy asked me that, or even this young man, a man who was great at translating, yeah. uh, I showed a Unitarian that First Timothy 6, 15, 16, Jesus says, no, it can't be about Jesus, God the Father. Even though I went through several sessions, and the most recent one showing that the nearest antecedent is verse 14, and that tells you that the subject of what is said in 15, 16, Jesus Christ, 
our Lord Jesus Christ. I cannot help you if you don't get it, because that means you're a special needs kid, and you have more needs than I do, and you give me hope that I'm not as psychologically disturbed as I thought. <laughs> Just kidding. Any other questions, brother? Or? Oh, that was pretty much it. You say you say hi, hello to Timmy. Say hello to to. Well, I'm gonna have to start new imaginary friends in this hotel <laughs> all by myself. I got you. And I'm gonna block you guys. I'm gonna now have to make a mod so you can stop blocking this dude. I anyway, didn't even change my name. I was like, maybe if I change my name, they think it's associated with I don't know something. Andres. Well, I'll, I'll unblock you and make you mod so that Anila doesn't block his. Anila is an infamous man hater. She hates men. <laughs> Please, Anila. All right, all right thank you sam and um thank you for just everything you do it's not going in oh, one last thing sam I, I a lot of the books that you mentioned i get them okay so i don't know if you want to put like a affiliate on on you i may do that and amazon yeah. i literally have so many books that you every time you, tell you, something. you see that book right there yeah, yeah it's being updated the second edition is going to have a lot more pages it's coming out sometime this year god willing so look for right. the second edition I will do, Sam. Uh, so just wanted to give you, oh, the lighting on the Trinity. I'm telling you, I'm just proud to have you here. So I just want to tell you, please start that Amazon affiliate. I want to see the books you have so I can get them too and uh, just study the materials. Thank you, Sam. You, uh, you, Thank you, Sam. Yeah, Take care. All right, bye. What's up, Tippy Bear? Hey, Sam. Um, I tried to join the live stream last time, but for some reason I couldn't enter my Google account. So um, I, I did have a question. It's it's a little off topic, but it has to do with um, Targum Jerusalem, Genesis 127. Uh, mm -hmm. It uses the word there, yoke fellow. And I wanted to know if it's the same, um, because it's in Aramaic, I wanted to know if it's the same as in Zechariah, I think it's 13.2. Let me let me just double check. Well, if it's in Aramaic, it won't be the same as the Hebrew. Sorry, it's it's thirteen seven. So in Hebrew, yes. it's um yes. a miti, right? Well, if that's if that's written in Aramaic, then it won't be the same Hebrew because Targum is Aramaic, Zechariah thirteen seven is Hebrew Hebrew. Right, but I wanted to know if it has if it if it carries the same meaning with it. Yoke fellow. Well, in the context, you don't even need the Aramaic. I mean, if you look at Genesis, she's called a helper, a help me, and one who comes alongside of Adam to assist him, and yet she is his equal, right? Because she's flesh of his flesh. Correct. Yeah, so that you can even infer that from just the Hebrew text that Adam's helper is one who is equal to him, though subject to him. And if you actually watch the sessions I've done, I've shown that the creation of Adam is meant to depict God as a community of multiple persons of the same essence who work in perfect union and fellowship. Adam is meant to be, and you've, done, you've seen the sessions, I'm sure. Yes. In a finite, limited temporal sense. Why? Because Adam, mankind, they're created, they're finite, they're limited, then temporal, they're physical, none of which is true of God. But they are meant to reflect the fact that God is a community, more than one person of the same nature and essence who are inseparable and always work in perfect union. And Adam is meant to convey that reality about God. That's Amen. why in Genesis 1, you know this, when God creates everything else, he doesn't say, let us, let us, let us. He only time he says, let us, is when he comes to the creation of Adam. He then speaks in the plural because here God is revealing through the creation of Adam as male and female, that just like Adam is a community of more than one person of the same nature, who's equal in essence, dignity, and value, and yet one is subject to the other, and they work together, that reflects the nature of God, the community of God, who's infinitely greater than that of Adam. So you don't need the Aramaic, you'll follow. Just the word helper. Because further proof of it is in Genesis 2. A lot, a lot of people don't know this. Now, I hope you're paying attention, all of you, because their question does dovetail with the Trinity. If you actually pay attention to Genesis 2, 19 to 20, it says that Yahweh God brought the animals to Adam so he would see what Adam would name them. But then it says, not a suitable helper was found for him among them. 
Because they're not created of the same substance. Yeah. Do you catch it? Do you understand? So that yeah. means the only suitable helper for the male is one who has the same nature and is equal to him. Okay, so in the so I um I didn't know if you had any uh understanding of the Aramaic, and I guess that was my question because um I wanted to know if the, the if that Aramaic word is is what would be translated over to Hebrew. No, it's, you, you, it's not the because Zechariah 13 is Hebrew. This is Aramaic. Now, I don't right. have Aramaic for me, but I can just tell you it's not the same language, so it cannot be the same word. Okay. All right. Okay? Well, that was it. Thank you but so much. But you don't remember. You don't even need the Aramaic. Stick I know. I know. I just wanted to know if, if that's what the, the Targum was reflecting. If no, it is the same. I, I, no, same. not in Aramaic. Okay. All right. Well, God bless you, Sam. Thank you so much. God bless you, sister. was Luke 4, 8, and Jesus Christ. This was Luke 4, 8, man. Why like this, man? Why are you, we are flying, man. She you calling somebody, why do you take him, man? Don't let me win the she on your mother. Pay you, son of Buddha, man. Like you pay your mother flower. All right. Can I help you, sir? Hey, what's going on, Sam? How you doing, sir? How you doing, sir? Uh, I got a question. So I'm having a hard time understanding, I guess, the sovereignty of God me explain too, biblically, I guess, compared to how Calvinism does it. But, but, but you know, I love you, right, brother? Huh? You know, I love you, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know you do. But you know, I love you because Calvinism and my topic is the Trinity, and I'm trying to figure out how the two go hand in hand. Oh, I'm, uh, my bad. I'm different, now, different it's my bad, bro. <laughs> but my anyway, bad. Hey, hey, Sam, my fault. Sam, look. Hey Sam, I saw it. I saw the clink and I opened it. So my bad. This is totally no, different. No, it's my bad, bro. But anyway, let me see if I can answer it. Let's see. Let me, I don't know. Let's see. What's the question anyway about sovereignty? Let me see if I'll end up. I'll do you. I'll I'll let you slide this time, bro. Thank you, man. I appreciate it, Sam. Yeah, because I'm 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 seeing how how I guess you, I guess I don't want to go down the road of I guess full on Calvinism, but I don't want to reject the idea that God is sovereign. So there how is does no Christian of any stripe that denies the sovereignty of God. It's not okay. the issue of sovereignty, it's the explanation. Just oh, okay. like there's no Christian that denies election. See, this is the misunderstanding. The misunderstanding is that if you believe in sovereignty of God, you're kept. No, there is no Christian, even an Arminian or provisionist, which Leighton Flowers is, or right. a Catholic or an Orthodox, deny the sovereignty of God. Sovereignty means that God has supreme authority and power over creation. No one denies that. Right. Nor will you find any Christian denying election because it's in the Bible. Nor will you find any Christian denying predestined. It's in the Bible. That's not the issue. It's what do these terms mean? Got you. Okay. So that's where the difference lies. In. Okay, got it. It's the understanding of these terms. What does it mean for God to be sovereign? Well, obviously, in Acts 17, if you read 24 to 32 specifically, 24 and 25, God as the creator and sustainer of all creation has supreme power over creation. Creation is in its control and creation could not exist apart from God willing it to exist. Okay. That's sovereignty. Right. The question then becomes, does this sovereign God then choose to permit creatures to make choices that they're not compelled to make? And then still sovereign enough to work through those choices to bring about his perfect will. Got it. Got it. And that's where people explain it differently. At the end, right? Yeah, that's it. So no one denies sovereignty because the term sovereign simply means that he's sovereign. He's supreme over creation. Of course. In fact, in Revelation 1.8, I'll give you an example. I now Alpha and Omega says the Lord God, who is, who was, who is to come, the Almighty. A lot of people don't know the word Almighty. Almighty, Panto Krato. Pantocrator means all sovereign, <clears throat> supreme over all. It really has to do with him having supreme authority over all things. Panto Krato, Panto, Pan, all, Krato, Kratos. It means to have supreme authority, all authority, all sovereignty. That's what it means for him to be almighty. Why? Because if you have supreme authority over creation, that means you must be all powerful over creation. Because you must be able to contain, control all creation 
And implication being, there is no creature that can rival your power, let alone challenge it. Okay. Okay, well, since you explained that, now I do got a question about the Trinity, though, now that it came okay. in my head real quick. Um, can you explain the Ancient of Days and the Son of Man in chapter Daniel chapter 7? Because I heard you talking about that before, but I couldn't get the understanding about the thrones and yeah, the yeah. difference oh. between. Yeah, Daniel's given a vision by the Holy Spirit. We know the Spirit is speaking in and through Daniel, Daniel 5, 11, and 14. Okay. Explain to him heavenly realities and future events so he's given a vision by the holy spirit of the ancient of days who appears with white hair white robe on a throne whose wheels are fire and fire issues from him but then he says thrones plural well he saw one occupant of the throne the ancient of days he's sitting on one throne but then that means there's another throne for someone else to occupy well before we go to that other one the Ancient of Days here, the reason why he's called Ancient and he appears with white hair is because the older you are, what happens to your hair if you're not bald like you and me? <laughs> it becomes gray. <laughs> so God is appearing to him as a very old person in order to denote the fact that he is beginningless. He's been there before creation. And It froze. Did I freeze or you frozen? Sam, you frozen. Sorry, guys. Hold on. Hold on a second. Should be back on. You good, Sam? Yeah, no, I lost. See, my phone died, guys. And I'm using. Sorry, guys. My phone died. So now I'm on my. What do you call it? Hotel in there. So glory to God. Okay, we're back. So where did I get cut off? You were talking about the gray hair and being yeah. the ancient of days being beginningless. And that's right. So that's why he appears as very old because he is old. He's so old that his years have no beginning. He has been existing from before creation. So that means he has been existing beyond <laughs> your ability to comprehend because those years are beyond our understanding, right? Right. Right. So is the ancient of days, so ancient of days and the son of man are two different distinct persons in that particular. Sorry, man. Like I said, the connection sucks here. Can you hear me? Yeah. All right. So the older you are, the wiser you are, right? Yes. Okay. So that's why he's appearing in that way, in that form, to show that he is beginningless. So he is very old. going to work hmm. yeah I, I think it's not going to work brother you there i'm there yeah the phone charges up and do it again i guess hey brother i did the connection sucks yeah i know that's okay I'll, I'll go ahead and log off and then I'll just find some of the videos you talked about it before. If I can, I'm gonna go look for them. I don't know if you guys can hear me now, anyway. Yeah. yeah, can you hear me now? Yeah, I can hear you, yes. Yeah, the connection's terrible because the hotel connection sucks. I can only use my hot hot spot, but it's done. So, brother, anyway, so what about the Son of Man? Maybe I can answer that real quickly. Yeah, now, uh, is the Son of Man and the Ancient of Days, are there two distinct persons in that chapter? They have to be because the Son of Man approaches the Ancient of Days, right? Right. Now, so is that, that means the, not the Ancient of Days. No, because the Son of Man and Ancient of Days are two different people in that context. You with me there? He's not the Ancient of Days? The Son of Man? No, not in that context, no. So that means that's Jesus according to the New Testament, correct? 
Yes. Okay, so Jesus is the Son of Man. Approach engineer, that means that's the God the Father, ancient of days, right? I would assume, yes. I would assume that, yes. Well, I mean, is there any other person that the ancient days could be? Uh, no, it couldn't be, no. So that means it's the Father, right? Right. Okay, so then Son of Man is Jesus. Ancient of days is the Father. It's two distinct divine persons that Daniel sees. Okay. Now, the Ancient of Days that's talked about in the, I think it's, I forgot what book, it, I forgot if it was in Revelations, I think. Is that, is Ancient Days a title? Good luck, I'm hearing you, go ahead. I said, if Ancient Days, is that a title for, for to denote something? Because is Jesus considered yeah. the Ancient of Days too or no? Yeah, the, the, the number one Ancient of Days means eternal, beginningless. Yes, so that's why Jesus can take on that title too, right? If he's God, if he's God, is he eternal, beginningless? Uh, yes. Yes. Yes, he is saying, yeah. I got it. Okay, so that means Father, Son, and Spirit, all three of them are the Ancient of Days, right? Correct. Any anyway, Yeah. Okay, so then that's why in Revelation, Jesus can be identified as the Ancient of Days. Got it. Without him being all the right. Father, because a Ancient Days is a title, meaning that Father, Son, and Spirit are eternal, beginningless, and very old. So it's not a title just for the Father. Got you. Okay, yeah, got it. All right. Thanks, Sam. I appreciate it, man. Thank you. Anyhow, anyway. Sorry, brother. I'm going to make sure next live stream I have my phone charged so we don't go through this. So we're going to wrap it up here because we're losing connection. But did that answer your question? Yes, it did. Thank you so much. Thank you. God bless you. Lord bless you. God bless you. Thank you. Okay, brethren. I promise I will get my phone charged. Lord Jesus willing, we'll be using my hotspot. My phone died. My apologies. You see it was spiritual warfare, right? You see the satanic attacks. That means I need your prayers for my daughters and I to be washed by Jesus Christ, filled with the Holy Spirit, and Lord Jesus, protect us, give us health, safety, and holiness to conquer Satan and walk worthy, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ is risen, risen indeed. God bless you guys. See you soon. It takes a special kind of genius when he sees my connection dying. He's still coming up. Thank you for restoring my hope that I'm not as stupid as I think I am. Mansola, your mother's a whore. You are a son of the devil. Come back later so I can stuff my foot up your ass, you piece of garbage. I'm the woman who gave birth to you. Lord Jesus, have mercy.